Hello everyone, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Boy, it's like video fest this weekend at Huntsville, Alabama. My buddy Steve here. Hey everybody, Steve, KI4KWR, how are you doing? So, another thing I wanted to play with, because I spotted this, and actually when I when I made the video and said, hey, you know, show me, tell me something you might want to see at the store if I go there, a couple people mentioned this. So, in my travels of the store and playing around, I really have no idea what this was. I haven't really researched it. Then I started asking questions, I said, that might be a good video. And Steve is going to tell us. Now, this is a, would you pronounce this Prass or Pross? They, uh, <laughs> they call it the Prass system, the parametric receive audio system. Okay, so this is a display here to give you an idea. Give me a nutshell of what this is actually designed for. What's it doing? It is designed for, you can use their speaker or any speaker of your desire, but it's mainly a, what I would call a equalizer for ham radio so if you want to take for, out for the receive and, or receive yeah for receive. For, for receive so people that really want to get those those um sounds you know the receive maybe you have a you know uh, a, a loud um you know to clean up your receive because some people really want to hear those weak signals and clean signals and if that's you this might be for you we've set everything basically to the mid zero like zero so once we get the there's a recording that uh, Bob Howell's done for us. The low, the high, don't be afraid, adjust those. The main thing is to listen to the mids especially. The mid gain is usually always up at four to five o'clock. And turn between two to four K, ah, so you tense. will yes. hear a distinct difference of speech intelligibility from both my voice and all of the signals. Add some lows, add some highs. So go back and listen again and experiment. Do not be afraid, and you will discover a whole new world. So what it's doing is... The speaker in this system is very special. It features a 25-watt yeah, amplifier. So I see Our 5-inch so speaker is mounted in... You can't control. You can't control how that other guy sounds on his end unless you have something like this. So I can make that other station sound bassy, right? Correct. I can make that other station with more mids or maybe, you know, some people, they, they, when they're on the radio, especially on digital, which this isn't really made for digital, like DMR or anything, but some people on digital that are, are uh, for instance, their voice frequency by nature, it happens to be, um, you know, deep or high and it, it conflicts to, they can't help it. That's just the way they talk. And the same thing sometimes happens on sideband or whatever. They have a very bassy voice. They have a very loud audio voice, and they don't mean that to happen. And sometimes it makes it hard to hear. And instead of you saying, hey, buddy, turn your lows down or turn your highs up or whatever, you can actually adjust what you're hearing. And, you know, it's not changing anything on his end, but it's changing what's coming in on your receive. And I'm going to guess, let me ask, this Heil speaker here is a set with this. It's separate. It's designed specifically for this for Correct. the maximum. Yes. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. What else? Okay, so this is going to come probably from the audio off your radio. Correct. So you're going to run, you're not going to use the internal speaker. No. You're going to use the output of the radio, the external speaker out, mm -hmm. and it's going to go through this and then to your speakers. Correct. Okay, so that will also fix your radio that may have that little crummy speaker in there. I mean, this thing's going to make uh, a, a Chinese radio, HF radio, sound a lot better because you're running it through Heil speakers a high alt parametric receive audio system, and it makes that little tinny high frequency speaker sound a lot better. Is that, uh, you know? Correct. Even like a small ICOM 706, you may say, I like that big bassy sound, or I want it to sound a lot more full in the room. This is it right here. What, what else can you tell me before we wrap it up about this? Have a lot of people come to this little this special thing. setup here and ask questions, and what, what have they said? They have. Uh, the good thing that Bob has done with these demos that he's provided us is if you run through, there's like a five-minute recording script that mm -hmm. he's got. He's actually got some sample audio where he says, you know, set them like I have them to the 12 o'clock position, move them around like uh, Eric did at the beginning, you know, with, with Bob's voice. You can hear the 10, the lows, and the highs. And there's actually a guy he has, I think it was on 20 or 40 meters, and he actually wiped a lot of this distortion away with the guy's voice just by changing the mids. And it's amazing how a, I say little unit, but it's, it's a nice size unit either way, cleaned up a receive signal by turning two knobs. 
That is interesting. And, and like I said, I think the biggest thing is you can control how that person sounds if you want to hear him sound better. Um, you could do that on your receive. And it's only for receive, not for transmit. And I've never been one to use things like this. Um, I, maybe one day down the road when I finally get my house and my ham shack set up, I can do stuff like this. Until then, I don't really have uh, a lot of stuff attached to my radio. But one day down the road, this would probably be something that I would check into just because I would have a way better sound on these speakers and uh, really knock out a lot of the noise and the, the bad sounding signals. So, Steve, I appreciate your uh, your time here for the videos. 7-3, KJ4YZI. KI4 Kennedy R.